Okay. All right. Very good. It's nice to connect with you. Thank you very much, Wally. All right, this is within the Kurodu corridor, and uh, the two impediments uh, has been taken off, and so it's much better. The one at Obasekumade, which we reported earlier on, that has been taken off, so it's much better. And then the accident you just talked about at uh, Unguluntu, uh, also, both of them has been taken off. So, madam, you, you were saying March 31st is the deadline for individuals. For individuals. Mm -hmm. Right. So, are there penalties? Yes. For this, yes. If I fail to do so as an individual working for a company, if I fail to you know file my returns in terms of taxes, what are the penalties? The penalty is fifty thousand for failing to file it. You mean it? Yes. For an individual. For an individual. That, that's huge. But I I need to really stress it because I think the public usually mix it up, especially those in paid employment. All right. They feel they most of them believe that once they are employer has filed on their behalf, mm -hmm. then they have nothing to do with that again. No, the law actually specified that every individual, the employer has actually fulfilled their own aspect as the agent of the government, rendering the returns of what they, what they collected and remitted to the government of in the previous year, as at 31st of January. Now, every individual out there be it in a paid employment or self-employed, they must all go out and file in their own individual return. So we need to break this down for our people then. Because yes. if I work for an organization, yeah. right, and the organization is paying taxes, does that not presuppose that the tax is paying is also for me as an individual? It is, but the organization has only fil filed in what he knows about you right which okay. might be limited it's now left for you as an individual to fill in the comprehensive annual returns form on your personal self which you will now sign what the organization has done is a company just a format schedule right as prescribed by the girl by the agency you didn't sign it you've only, they've only given us information about you but you know what you have what you have done in the globally in the previous year and you now want to fill the specified form there are some other details in the personal income tax for individual return right that you are expected to fill so the basic question that comes most of the time is are employers who are on their company's payroll supposed to file individual uh, the employees the employees yes yes are they supposed to file individual they tax? are supposed to file individual Return. You mean it? Yes, and that is why the law actually separated section 21 from section 41. Section 41 has specifically stated every individual must file. You are an individual. Yeah. You are separated from your employer. Right. Employer has done their part. You are now to do yours as an individual. And is this the same for both public and uh, private organizations? It is. You mean it? Everybody, even individual person down the road, the man that has a shop, the woman that is selling something down the road. He's supposed to file. They are supposed separately to Separately from what he does, from, separately from the organization. Sep completely separately from the organization. Ah. But by the time he gets into the records of the tax authority, obviously we will be able to merge. And it is based on that that whatever you have earned and declared will be considered, and your tax, the tax due from you, right. will be ascertained. All right. Let, let's let's look at that. Let's break this down a bit more for our listeners this morning. So, um, as from the perspective of someone who works for a public organization, for instance, okay. So. Uh, the company has filed its own annual returns. Now we're talking about the individual. Mm -hmm. You work there as a director, as a manager, mm -hmm. and you're going to be filing your own personal income tax, right? Which is referred to as a uh, payee. Mm -hmm. is, is that it correct? Mm -hmm. All right. So what are the information that will be uh, in these tax forms that will be different from, let's say, the annual, uh, the monthly deductions that they are made? Uh, you know, by the time you see your pay slip and that kind of, you see those monthly deductions, mm -hmm. Say this is for tax. So is this going to be different? Yes, we have more. It's more detailed. 
Your employer on the annual returns that your employer filed on your behalf definitely is not going to have your residential address. Okay. But on you will have a personal information about your family, your children, what your wife does. Right. Then other sources of income oh, that you that, might have. That will also be stated. It will be stated. Even those that you had already made a prepaid tax on. In which at the time your tax is eventually considered that pre that amount that you had paid in advance right. will be taken out from your tax and it's just the net that will be paid. So why is the government interested in my other sources of income? Tax is based on <laughs> income from all sources. Okay. That's what the law says. Right. All right, so for this to happen, that means there must be a kind of tax ID, identification number that each person must possess. Is that correct? Very right. So how are you guys going about this to ensure that people that are working for organizations or you, you do work for a company will have their tax, their, their tax IDs? Normally, at the be after the employer, employer has filed returns for you and you already filed your annual return and we've considered everything. If you already if you're already on the tax platform, currently we have the we have the e-tax platform, which okay. is the, the enterprise tax platform, which makes it very convenient for you to do work that we're asking you to do from the comfort of your home or your office. Right. Right. So what we have to, what you now have to do is you filled all that, the em the employer will now have to look at what and what you have done. Right. And the tax authority will now have to consider it. Hmm. So that presupposes that uh, each of each company must be ready to get this tax identification for its uh, workers. Then. The moment we have identified your tax your status, if you have the identification number, automatically there's something we call the tax clearance. Okay. The tax clearance is evidence that you have paid your tax. Right. So with the payer ID. If you already if you've already been paying tax in the past, the payer ID is just like your is your personal identification number, just like you have your bank account number that right. is only for you. So if I have multiple payer ID, what do I do? Well, with multiple payer IDs, all you need to do is inform the tax authority. Most times multiple payer IDs will pop up in a case where an individual that already had a tax card went in and made another payment perhaps a self-payment assessment payment somewhere or a, or a withholding tax payment somewhere right. and did not submit the initial payer id that has been given to him so the whoever is involved might be forced to now get that person to generate another taxpayer id right. so all we need to do is when you inform the tax authority for us to be because it is very sensitive security issue not to mingle names together right you will have to convince us with document of identification that you are one and the same person that has this pair multiple pair ids so right. we'll, we can we'll merge it for you so it can be corrected oh definitely all right then lagos traffic radio that is 6.1 fm this morning we're talking about the deadline for the filing of individual tax returns and so you as an individual you must take note of this because march 31st is going to be the deadline and there are penalties. You just said it. Uh, you said how, how much now? 50,000. 50, uh -huh, that's huge. Well, let's take you through movement around the airport uh, road junction. Uh, a movement from NPC by Mobostic inwards Kino down to Alaji, Lukmont, Atoba Jung is uh, busy. And from there through Orlandia Way, uh, on route Eleganza to Osolo Way, uh, you find, you'll find a moving traffic within that particular location. The movement through seven and eight uh, inwards or solar way down to a Shafari Ogun intersection and Aswani there is also a moving traffic being experienced. The return journey from Aswani to a Shafari Ogun intersection onwards uh, seven and eight, it's a moving traffic being experienced there. All right, then we did talk about the accident earlier on at Ogulunto intersection between a tractor and a car, but the good news it has been taken off. And it's much better. Backlog originally was anti Kenny, but uh, right now I understand it's uh, very close to Golonto and it's moving much better. Same for the impediment at Obasekumadi. The broken down truck that was there before has been taken off and it's a much better movement. All right, then. So if you're navigating through the Tabula Bridge, it's still very good. Uh, Ikorodu Road busy from Altra, but of course not uh, so much of a worry 
and if you're coming in from the Lagos Abiyokuta Expressway and I understand cement in what national is much better now Motoris was connecting with us earlier to say so and I hope it remains like that for now but I see I with me in the program Mrs. Abiola Kindele she's regional head for the Lagos Internal Revenue Service Victoria Island all right so let's talk a bit more uh, because I know when we make reference to taxes expatriates are they, are they exempted definitely not they are not they so are who are those referred to as expatriates expatriates are non-nigerians non-citizens of nigeria that have been that are coming in to work in nigeria and such people when coming in before they're able to work the, the immigration service will have cleared them and given them a letter permit to work in Nigeria. All right. The moment they are in Nigeria and they are working in Nigeria, they are supposed to pay the tax. Okay. The only personal income tax in Nigeria as well. Okay, so they are not exempted in any form. Definitely not. All right. So that means they can get uh, some levels of inquiries. If any, any company that is uh, bringing in an expatriate must know that he or she must be ready to pay for or file the tax returns for that individual. That's what you're saying. Yes. All right. So briefly. Take us through the different, uh, the different. Uh, that's uh, the differences between taxation and other other user charges that are levied on residents of Lagos State. Just you know, take us through that. Yeah, taxation, like we already said, is based on income earned. For anything to be done that has to do with tax, it is the income that that individual has earned that will be considered. Okay. But user charge. It's not income related, it's from the road user, it's what you do, like the land use charge. Okay. You are actually living in a premises. So and you're supposed to pay it? You are supposed to pay land use charge. It's not income related. It is based on a different mode to which the government has defined. Is it only the land user quality that no, category? No, we have so many. The, the Loma, Loma bills. Okay, make, utility uh, bills. Pay, the Loma bills. Okay. That you pay. The, key, the, the marketers, their shops, their stores. Right. They pay key clans. The local government go in there and ask them. They're what they pay them. They are not their taxes. They're yeah. just. They are for the fact that they are using the space as a shop right. and all that. So those are user charges. Those are user, user charges. All right. Let's break down some more terms because when we talk about taxes in this part of the world, there are lots of terms that are not very, very familiar with people. And a lot of times when they do transactions, they just get it, they just put it down. Well, I've done it and let me just go. But break it down for us, Mrs. Akindle, this morning. What is withholding tax? Withholding tax is another form of tax, but it is a prepaid tax. Withholding tax is a tax that is actually deducted from specific transaction as stipulated by the law. The law in actually made it that every individual or organization that have an encounter with particular services mm -hmm. or contracts, then withholding tax, which is a prepaid tax, must be deducted as source from them. So who's also, liable? Also, we have okay. in some investments. Okay. For with withholding tax on professional firm, a, 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 a company auditor. Right. But it's not an, a full employee of the company, it's just an auditor. Right. Whatever service has been rendered to that company, when such individual is going to get his, his fees, definite or professional fees, right. 5% of it will have to be withheld. The five percent that has been that's going to be hold on to that will be remitted to the tax authority immediately or no later than the twentieth day of that same month. Okay. The tax corresponding tax credit will be given to that individual, to, so that in the following year, in this particular case, if that individual is now filing his tax for this year, mm -hmm. having filed the form the necessary form, the tax credit too will be attached to it. Right. So that. After computing what the tax that is due from the individual, the tax credit will be considered and the next will be paid by that individual. So who is liable? Who is liable to pay withholding tax? Everyone that is, has rendered the service, we have withholding tax on contract. When there's a contract agreement between you or an organization and any other person, 
the company, the individual will pay to state government. When it has to do with a corporate entity, mm. then that corporate entity may re will pay it to the federal government. Right. Is the 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 client that will deduct it from that of the co the contractor. So let's let's put it in proper scenario now. Let's let's create this now. So if I have a contract with you, uh, you're supposed to pay me some amount of money yeah. for that contract. You now take off the withholding tax before you pay me. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Hmm. Also, if I if you have a business, if you have a business premises, and I as an individual own the property, before you pay me my rent on that property, mm -hmm. you take certain percentage of ten percent out as withholding tax on rent. Ten percent? Is that that, that sounds huge? No, you might think so. <laughs> you consider the right. Right. All right. So it's a pension and liable to pay tax. Yes. A pensioner is liable to pay tax. Ah. But I have many expressions on this. A pensioner may not pay tax on the pension income. Okay. The, that income that he is now earning as a pension. Right. He's not able to pay tax. They are not paying tax on it. But every other businesses or activities that has fetched legal activities that has fetched that pensioner another source of income, income he will pay tax on it definitely all right let's uh, let's expand the discourse beyond the studios right now let's connect with the listening public this morning lagos traffic radio 96.1 fm deadline for filing of individual tax returns is what we're focusing on from the lagos state internal revenue service guest it is mrs akindele and that's abiola akindele so you might want to reach us right now on 08099 one two zero seven 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 if there are technicalities that relates to taxes that you want to clear up this morning let's do that quickly because of time constraints really okay hello there good morning yeah this is victor terry who am i speaking with mr james how are you doing okay Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Very good. All right. So we we'll put all of that together. Uh, James wants to know if he's running a, a business. Uh, will he have to pay tax? Zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven seven seven. As I said, limited time on the program, so let's hear from you if you have. Good morning. Very good. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 All right. I I get what you're saying. All right. Thanks very much. Ab From source. All right. Very good. All right then. Lagos Traffic Radio ninety six point one FM zero eight zero nine nine one two zero seven. Seven seven. Let's stay here from you as relates to taxes, and uh, we're talking about the deadline for filing of individual tax returns. All right. Let's share your your. Let's have your say on the program so that Madam is able to respond to all of them at once. Hello. Good morning. Where are you calling from? All right. Go ahead, Olimide. Hmm. 
Mm. All right then. Thank you so much. She will respond to you. All right, Lagos Traffic Radio, 96.1 FM. A breather, one or two messages when we return. While that will respond, you can also put some of your or your questions on WhatsApp and then we'll do a follow-up to it as well. Sir. Yes. Um, they have a message on their Instagram page. Okay. Am I to read it? Who? On, on their own Instagram page. Oh, okay. They sent it to them. To them, yes. Yeah. What okay. do What's the, what's the message? Uh, from the dish to me, love, are you? Does that mean... No, 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 no. Um, to me, love, it says, mm -hmm. does that mean that an employee who does not have a personal business does not need to file? Okay, you can take it, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see. On our own WhatsApp, as well as a little bit ash. What did you say? Good morning. Your guest has made some interesting revelations. Firstly, there is a need for massive public awareness for members to file tax returns. Secondly, the size of the penalty is too harsh. Okay. Um, so, uh, does level 6 to 12 officers who earn, who earn less than 100k Will they pay a penalty of 50k for filling the tax returns? <laughs> okay. And person said that LRS record. Uh, I think this is a, this is ridiculous. Tax or penalty should always be progressive based on income. Can we read that? No, you read some part of it. Okay. Then one more. No, let's go. Oh, but more please. Of course, we want we want to read. Is that the last? Yeah. yeah, that's good. After this, there are some messages. Well, yeah, we just take some messages. We can't take all of this. <laughs> kind of so I should skip that one. No, we can take it down. So, Mana, you see the reason why I said we need to have a constant yeah. weekly program like this. Like you do with Mrs. Adegun. Eh, okay. You. <laughs> Every. Uh -huh. So, we can come out with a content for every quarter. So that's. Because a lot of people are tired of yelling on you. But I, I know that there are lots of people, if they understand how it works, they will pay voluntarily. Is it better? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Lagos Traffic Radio at six point one FM. We're heading for the finish line, but I can tell you there are loads and loads of questions to attempt to. I'll just allow Corinne to take a few of them. Uh, some of you connecting with us via WhatsApp and also on social media. Uh, Corinne, let's just run through some of them. Quickly. All right. Uh, the first one on Instagram, uh, Chumi Love, uh, it says, uh, "Does the does that mean that an employee who does not have a personal business uh, does not need to file?" Okay. All right. I have another one from Chima. Uh, Chima on WhatsApp. Uh, what about uh, an individual who pays tax and later travels outside the country? What happens to him or her? Okay. Uh, can I take one more? Yeah, take one right. more. Take one more. Uh, okay. Uh, Anonymous says that uh, your guest has made some interesting revelations. Uh, firstly, he says that there's a need for a massive public awareness uh, for members to file tax returns. Right. And then, secondly, he says, uh, what about level 6 to 12 officers who earn less than 100,000 uh, Naira? Uh, will they also pay a penalty of 50k for okay. failing to file a return? All right, let's leave it at that for now. There are lots of them, but we can't attend to all of them. So, Mr. Abiola, can you, let's, run, let's run through some of these uh, concerns. James, since he has a business in his premises, uh, does he, will he have to pay tax for that business? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as an income is earning from his premises. Right, so he has so to pay tax. He has to pay tax. All right. I mean, Bala from Oba says, uh, in the in their workplace, they do deduct some amount of money. Uh, would that suffice for the filing of the individual returns? That will not suffice. It will not. It's still that person still need to file in your personal returns to the tax authority. 
if at the end of the day whatever she has filed or he has filed and what the employer has filed is the same then there's no need giving any tax assessment okay so where would you get this uh, form that you're talking about this forms for individual filing where would people yeah. get it from we have it on the e-tax platform okay if they go into e-tax e at lirs.net as a new person they just have to start with they go in click new and just follow the directions it will definitely ask for the bbn and date of birth right of that individual being a first timer okay and the moment that is done the person can now go into the scroll down to the filing of returns section that e-tax let, let's get that again e -tax dot net dot net e i r s dot net all right yes. let's attempt uh, only this concern it says if a company or an organization has been you know uh deducting from source for four years and they're not remitting this to government how can they approach that what should be the, the thing that they should do actually this is a criminal act because the amount has been deducted from the employee and the employer is now plowing it back to his or business. It is highly immoral and it is criminal. Okay. For such cases, we have our customer care centers in all the relevant tax stations, or for our party tax stations in the state. The office, the person or employee con concern right. can walk in to any of the tax offices or the nearest to us, lodge a complaint or even come into the head office okay. and choose to speak with the director of personal income tax or even the chairman or any of the directors okay so in confidence right so where's your where's your head office located that's at the business district alonsa good shepherd house building just okay. the building is directly opposite the entrance gates to alonsa right secretariat Okay, so let's take this home this morning because I know there are lots of questions, but I don't have an income. Must I pay tax? Well, tax is based on income earned. Okay. But then, you need to be sure that you are not earning income because there are so many people that don't even know what they mean by income. Income, all right. And I wish that this conversation can continue. I hope you can return someday and we can reflect on this. But in taking this home, madam, what's your message to our people even as you approach the deadline for this uh, filing of individual returns? Quickly. Yes, I want to appeal to everybody that no, it is the law to file there. But the LIRS is also advocating, encouraging that everybody should go out there and do the needful. It is their civic responsibility to file in their annual return. Right. Okay, then we'll leave it at that for now. Oh, Mrs. Abiola Kindle, nice having you in the building. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. And nice having you. Thank All you right, then. Good, good. So, you are regional, or she is regional uh, manager. Uh, uh, that's regional manager. Yeah. Re regional, yeah, regional, coordinator. regional coordinator for the Lagos Internal Revenue Victoria Service, Island. Victoria Island. All right, then. And I'm sure that someday we'll still revisit this so that people can have a clearer understanding of tax issues in the state. This is our own part to ensure that you get the enlightenment that you need. But we have to go. Kore Deba Mishiri has produced the program this morning. Maximum thanks to Mubo Salah Kasali. And we must appreciate Chola Dada and others working behind the scene to bring this content on the air this morning. We say a big thank you to you. All right, so your side mirror will return on Monday. But before then, you can catch me up tomorrow on Talk Time by 8 o'clock. But uh, I wish you well, even as you drive along this morning. Safe driving, respect to that road users. I'm out. See you very much within. This is Victor Terry. Bye. Thank you.